I'm preparing working stocks of primers to amplify uh, the FAT1 gene in some of our cases. The research in this lab may lead to the first effective treatment for some patients with the deadliest form of cancer. And it has a lot to do with my story. I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer more than five years ago. I'm alive today because my doctors realized that I had the BRCA genetic mutation and they treated me accordingly. It's commonly known as the breast cancer gene. It's the reason the actress Angelina Jolie had her breasts removed. It turns out that it can cause pancreatic cancer as well as breast and ovarian cancer. And the hope is my case is an example of how treatment can work better. So not everybody with a BRCA pancreas cancer is cured with chemotherapy. What we're seeing in these early days, I call these early days, is that we're seeing better responses, longer life, you know, people like you with, have you know, more miraculous stories, but the miraculous stories are not that common even today, so that's why we're doing the research. So Libby, this is the uh, biospecimen repository where we store all kinds of human samples. A one and a quarter million dollar grant from the Canadian Cancer Society will allow the team to collect hundreds of BRCA tumor samples to see why some respond to treatment. We're going to be biopsying them twice before treatment and then if the treatment fails, which is what the grant is going to support. This research is on the front lines of personalized medicine, which is the latest approach to treating cancer and holds the biggest promise for curing more and more patients. At the Lunenfeld Tannenbaum Research Institute in Toronto, I'm Libby Snymer for Zed News.